Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. Manchester City ended a memorable 2023 in style, with a dominant 2-0 win over Sheffield United that lifts them into third place in the Premier League. In a game where the golfing class was huge, City bossed possession as they recorded 82% of the ball with goals courtesy of Rodri and Julian Alvarez. It caps a quite sensational calendar year for Pep Guardiola's side, who won five trophies, scoring 159 goals along the way in their 66 matches. This victory leaves them perfectly positioned in the title race, just two points off Liverpool while the return of Kevin De Bruyne, who was named among the substitutes but didn't get on, only further enhances the menacing look about their prospects in 2024. Team News Pep Guardiola made two changes from the team that won at Everton with Josko Gvardiol and Matteo Kovacic replacing John Stones and Mateus Nunes. Kevin De Bruyne returned from four months out injured on the bench. Chris Wilder has made five changes from the team that lost 3-2 at home to fellow strugglers Luton Town in midweek. How City Made It Back-to-Back -back Wins Manchester City were in celebratory mood ahead of the match as the club paraded all their trophies won during a memorable 2023. So, it was fitting that the man that scored their famous winning goal in the Champions League final to complete the treble opened the scoring after a dominant opening period. It was a powerhouse of a goal from Rodri as he strode through the heart of the Sheffield United midfield before producing an expertly controlled low finish that flew into the bottom corner. Sheffield United were happy to sit deep and offered little attacking moments, but William Osula did get behind the defense to meet a Jaden Bogle cross, but his first-time shot was blocked by Manuel Akanji. That was as good as it got for Chris Wilder's team who were in damage limitation mode after falling behind. In what almost felt like an exhibition game at times, the excellent Phil Foden almost got round West Fodderingham early in the second half, but the keeper just managed to claw the ball away. Foden had better luck when he created the second goal for Alvarez on the hour, breaking into the area from an Oscar Bob pass and squaring for the Argentina forward to slide in. The home crowd called for De Bruyne to make his return, but the Belgian was kept in reserve as Guardiola resisted the urge to throw him on. This was the first time City had secured back-to-back -back Premier League wins since the first week of November and ended a run of eight games without a clean sheet. Meanwhile, the Blades remain bottom of the Premier League. Optostats, Pass Masters Manchester City's 938 successful passes against Sheffield United is the second most on record in a Premier League game since 2003-2004, behind their own record of 942 against Swansea City in April 2018. Indeed, their 81.8% .8 possession figure was their highest in a Premier League game since May 2021 against Newcastle United, 82.1%. City have remained unbeaten at the Etihad in all competitions in 2023, P28, W25 D3, three of the last four instances of an English top-flight side going unbeaten in a calendar year at home have been Manchester City, 2011 and 2017 also, along with Liverpool, 2019. What the manager said. Man City boss Pep Guardiola. It is always difficult, quite similar to, Crystal, Palace, in the end we finished how we finished, so maybe we learned that. Really pleased for the clean sheet, for a long time for the victory, it has been a tough, tough month for us, for Saudi Arabia and many things. Winning the World Club Cup helped us a lot in our mood, very pleased to finish there, we are not top of the league, we are not far away in two titles we have won this season, so the group of this players are amazing. So the mood is good, so now rest a little bit, we have a few days off now, which will be good for all of us and then we come back. Chef, UTD boss Chris Wilder It felt like we played football for about five hours, said Wilder. When you are walking out and you see five trophies, put on display as the players emerged from the tunnel in an obvious psychological ploy, it is on to you. Congratulations from myself and everyone at Sheffield United for what this club and arguably the greatest manager of all time, Pep Guardiola, has done. We were light in terms of Premier League experience, but what we weren't light on is fighter character and that has delighted me since I walked through the door. We have to have a, a structure and an approach. It is incredibly difficult to come here, even for the top teams. We have to hang in there. 
We have to take big moments, unfortunately we didn't at the end of the first half, will Osceola unable to convert a couple of chances, and Ederson saving comfortably from Jaden Bogle. You can try and meet the challenge head-on, or go out the back door. I know there are plenty of teams who would have got done five or six with the vibe and the feel today. We try and take something from it. We have come here with a lot stronger squad and better nick before and found it incredibly difficult to get a result. For me, it is the overall six games I have reflected for the players, what they have given me. I said after the first game against Liverpool, don't kid me, is this a one-off in terms of the attitude? It wasn't a one-off. Merson, walk in the park for City, but they must finish teams off. Analysis from Sky Sports Paul Merson on Soccer Saturday. They are playing in first, second gear. They are probably one of the only teams that can consistently play and that is why in time it catches up with other teams, but with Man City they get stronger and stronger. Honestly, it was a walk in the park. If you are Chef UTD, you are probably in the dressing room after thinking, well, what a result at 2-0. My own worry would be Fodderingham was not man of the match, so to have that many touches, sometimes you have to have a reason for it, and it is all right keeping the ball and they have done enough to win the game. But you have to be careful, look what happened against, Crystal, Palace just a couple of weeks ago before they went away to Saudi Arabia, they have to finish teams off and be more ruthless, it catches up with you. So for me, a nice day at the office and Chef, UTD come away with their stomachs tickled a little bit, and then off you go. What's next? Manchester City are next in action on January 7, hosting championship side Huddersfield in the third round of the FA Cup, before returning to league commitments on January 13 with a trip to Newcastle. Sheffield United are also in third round action when traveling to League 2 outfit Gillingham on January 6, and don't return to league duty until January 21st when West Ham visit Bramall Lane. Let us know what you think about the entire thing in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from around the world. We sign out.